Hey guys, it's Dr. Deuce back again with another great set of music tech tips for you. Today we're going to be looking at the solo options within Logic Pro X. Knowing how to use these functions will definitely speed up your production process. Let's get stuck in. Okay, while this production is playing through, let's assume I wanted to solo individual tracks. All I'd need to do, for example the shaker, select that track and press S on the keyboard. I can then go and select the snares for example, once again press S and let's see maybe the crashes, press S on the keyboard. Okay, while that's playing through, what, what if I wanted to deselect the solos? Once again, while the track is selected, press S to recall the solo. So I'll be using the S shortcut to switch solo on and off on each of those individual tracks. Now let's assume we wanted to solo individual regions in this production. How might we go about doing that? Well, the simple function for this is Control S. Let's try it out. I'm going to select the second shaker and press Control S. All I'm doing now is using the mouse to click around and whichever region I click becomes the soloed region. I'm not holding anything on the keyboard. Okay, let's try these hand claps here. Now, I'm going to hold down shift on the keyboard and click. By holding down shift while we're in this mode, we can add more regions to the solo option. Here we go. Okay, how about deselecting? Once again, all we need to do is hold down shift and click on the regions individually. Okay. To deselect all of them in one go, you hold down the control key and press S on the keyboard. Here we go. Hopefully that's gonna make life a little bit easier for you when it comes to soloing and auditioning individual regions and tracks. So that's it, another couple of great tips for you that's gonna speed up your production process in Logic Pro X. This is Dr. Deuce. I'll be back real soon with some more quick fire music tech tips for you. Peace.